Hey, you're watching Vinyl 4 Miles, your best resource for music, audio, gear, and vinyl reviews. Today, we're looking at some awesome futuristic portable Bluetooth speakers from Musen Audio. We're looking at the Cyber Shell and the brand new Wild Go. All right, guys, stick around. Hey, welcome to the channel. This is Vinyl 4 Miles. What we do here is audio gear, vinyl gear, guitar gear, pretty much anything having to do with my hobbies, I'm gonna bring you content. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and give me a subscribe and hit the bell notification while you're at it so you don't miss any future videos. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at some awesome portable Bluetooth speakers from Muse and Audio. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you may remember me reviewing this. This is the CyberCube. It is a extremely small, portable Bluetooth speaker. Not only that, it's a utility speaker. There's a flashlight on this thing. You can clip it to your backpack. It really blew me away. So I continue my conversations with Musen and ask them, hey, can you send me something that is more of your top tier uh, offering for the more hi-fi fans who watch this channel? And what they sent me was this, the Cyber Shell. This is their flagship product. You can pair two of these and get Bluetooth stereo separation. And there's just so many cool things you can do with these speakers. But before we dive into the Cyber Shell, I wanna take a look at their newest product and give it a quick spotlight. Now the Wild Go is the newest speaker from Musen. It is another portable pocket-sized Bluetooth speaker if you compare the size between the Cyber Cube and the Wild Go. They're around the same size, however the Wild Go is much thinner and much lighter. Biggest changes you're gonna see with the Wild Go is aesthetically it is much cleaner. As you can tell on here, very clean lines. There is one mechanical dial for volume up, volume down. There's one rocker control here that goes track forward, track back. The button up top is a multifunction button. You can do play, pause, turn the speaker on and off, and it is USB-C chargeable. This is great for going to the beach, going to the skate park. This is IPX5 rated, which means it's gonna be splash proof, dust proof, pretty much anywhere you wanna to listen to music, but you don't wanna to have to bring a separate backpack to lug around a Bluetooth speaker. Just stick this in your pocket or clip it to your belt loop, and you can take this anywhere you want. The speaker does go for $89 on Musen's website, but they always have promos going on. They always have coupon codes on the homepage, so be sure to check that out. All right, now that I've showed you the brand new product from Musen, the Wild Go, why don't we take a look at the Cyber Shell? So to kick off this review, I wanna do a quick unboxing because Musen, if they do one thing right, it is packaging. We have a really cool kind of hologram graphic on the front where the RGB light ring is on the speaker. It says Cyber Shell portable Bluetooth speaker. On the front here, we have some of the features that are included on the speaker. And at the very bottom, it says dynamic RGB light mechanical metal true wireless stereo. We're going to dive into what true wireless stereo actually means in a little bit. Moving to the side, we get a nice metallic silver box. Then on the back, we have some information about Musen, your barcode, and then some QR codes if you wanna scan those. So what we do is we open it up like this. It's kind of like an Apple product where you get that nice satisfying slide to open it. There is some nice foam padding on front here to protect the speaker and we remove the foam padding. We do see the cyber shell. It's nice and snug in this custom fit box here. Uh, this is all foam, so it is protected and you can keep it in here if you're not using it and not have to worry about your speaker getting beat up. And there's two little holes here for your fingers. You just stick your fingers in there and you can pull the speaker directly out. There is a few things that are inside the box. Uh, one thing is a notice not to turn the mechanical dial more than 35 degrees. They just don't want you breaking the mechanical dial on the speaker. Right here, it says caution accessories. I guess you need to take caution. And what you get inside here is your USB-C charger your instructions, oops, and your auxiliary cable. And here's the auxiliary cable you're gonna get. This is a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter audio jack. This is gonna be very important if you wanna to listen to things wired to get the highest possible quality. Now that we've done the unboxing, you've seen how high quality the packaging is of this product. Let's go over the features and aesthetics of the outside of the speaker. So starting from the top down, we do have all of our mechanical controls at the very top here. Everything is encased in zinc alloy metal or aluminum. This is inspired by spacecraft, so most of the stuff on here is going to be very sleek and use metals and materials that you would see typically used in aerospace. So starting from the top left to right, we're gonna go over some of the controls here. So where your EQ knob is here, there is another feature and it actually is fast forward rewind. I didn't know that it did that and I didn't really see it in the instructions. So if we are listening to music, you turn it to left or right and hold it. It does fast forward and if you turn it to the left and hold it, it rewinds it. 
Next to that, we do have our EQ. This goes from normal to rock mode to rap mode. Next to that, we do have our power button. You can also press and hold this to go into Bluetooth pairing mode. In front of here, we do have our mode selection. The modes on here are pretty straightforward. We have Bluetooth. We have low latency mode. That's gonna be great for if you're watching movies or TV shows. That will make sure that the voices sync up with the audio. We have this TWS feature on here, and that is to actually pair more than one of these in stereo. And then we have our auxiliary in. Moving next to that, we do have this little rocker knob, and it goes back and forth. That's track forward, that's track back. And then finally, we have the huge mechanical dial. It makes a very satisfying click noise when you turn the volume up or turn the volume down. And then on top here, we do have our play pause button. Now there's some other stuff you can do and there's some dual things on here like your rocker to go back and forth between your tracks. If you push it in, it actually changes your lighting modes. So there's all kinds of cool hidden features on this speaker. So now moving from the top, we're gonna go down to the nice RGB LED light ring. Now this surrounds the actual driver itself. So there's a few options you can go in here we'll dive into later. Uh, the speaker itself has a very cool custom design. So the grill has this geometric, kind of uneven geometric shape, but it looks very futuristic, very kind of cyberpunk or space themed. Behind the geometric shapes, you do get a nice metal grill. And then below the metal grill, there is some mesh in there. So if you want to take this to the beach or if you're worried about water getting through, you do not have to worry about it. This is IPX5 rated and the mesh in here is going to protect the speaker. Now the sides of this thing are pretty cool too. This is all zinc alloy metal. So this is kind of space grade. Everything on here is primarily held together with screws. Same thing, zinc alloy screws, and they have the star type screw on there. So if any maintenance that needs to be done on this speaker, it's pretty easy to take apart. Moving to the back, we do have mostly a rubber back here. So it is the zinc alloy metal covered in a nice rubber material. And we have this plastic grill on the back. Now, they call it an exhaust vent to kind of keep with the cyberspace theme, but this is really just your sub port in the back. So if you take this off, you can see right here, this is the sub, this will go in and out. And this is where a majority of the bass will be coming through when you're listening to music. Now it's nice to keep this on if you're traveling with it, but if you have it in a dock or if you're listening to it in a stationary area, feel free to pop that off if you like the aesthetic of the back with it off. However, when you do put it on, there is a gap down here. Connect your USB-C cable and you still can see the LED indicator of how much charge is on the battery. Moving down below your port here, we do have a nice rubber finish on the bottom. So if you're putting this on a hard surface, this will help. This will also help with vibrations coming from the speaker. And then finally, you see these two little pins at the bottom. Those are a fast charge port. And if you have the charging stand that you can buy separately, it actually just clicks right in. There you go, you see the LEDs change and it is now in charging mode. So if you don't wanna to have to worry about sticking a USB-C cable in here to charge it and you want a charging dock, they do sell this separately and it is 35 bucks on Musen's website. So now we've gone over the features and aesthetics of the speaker, why don't we go over the technical specifications? So the speaker is not necessarily the lightest speaker, it is about two and a half pounds. The Bluetooth version on this is Bluetooth 5.0, so you do have one of the newest versions of Bluetooth available. The transmission range on this is more than 30 feet. I tested it up to 35 feet. This does have two channels. It has the Bluetooth channel and you can use the auxiliary in. The total amplified power on here, it is a class D amplifier, and as I mentioned, is a 20 watt max total. The sound to noise ratio is 75 dB. The system frequency response is gonna be 80 hertz down to 18 kilohertz. The battery on here is a whopping 31 milliamp hour batteries. The charging type on this is USB-C and it supports fast charge. Now that we have the technical specifications out of the way, let's do a product demo of the CyberShell. I'm gonna walk through the different features and the sound profiles. So why don't we go ahead and kick it off with the Bluetooth mode. That's gonna be the farthest left mode on the control knob here for your modes. So we're starting off on Bluetooth. Simply go to your phone, Go to the Bluetooth menu and look for the CyberShell speaker. So here's the CyberShell speaker. I am now connected. And if I wanted to listen to music on this speaker here, because that's the one I connected to, all I have to do is open up my audio apps, which I'm going to open up Tidal. I'm going to choose some hi-fi music and press play. Very easy to use, it instantly connects and the sound quality on this is superb. So going back to the EQ settings on here, there's a little button on top right there and that changes your sound profile. So if you listen, rock mode. that's rock mode. If you press it again, rap mode. that's rap mode. Normal mode. And that's a flat normal EQ. I like rock mode, so I'm gonna go into rock mode. 
rock mode. Now the next mode you're gonna have on the dial here is your low latency mode. So this is gonna be the best mode to view your media on because the lips are gonna line up with the audio and it have very little latency. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the HBO app on my phone and I'll just put on an episode of a TV show I'm watching. Yeah, I'm at the hospital. So as you can see, everything syncs up with that. That's the low latency mode. So be sure to use that when you're watching movies and or TV shows. Let's go to the next feature, which is actually my favorite mode and it's called the TWS. Left China, right China. That actually just paired both speakers into stereo mode. So what I can do is move the speakers apart from each other. And when I play music now, it's going to be in full stereo. So that is a lot louder now because there's two speakers going and it does separate the left and right channel. And the cool thing too is when you turn the volume up on one speaker, it turns the volume up on the other one. So it pairs them together. It kind of has a master-slave relationship here. So anything you do on one of the speakers affects the other. So if we're listening and I want to pause the music, it pauses it on both of them. And I can go over to the right speaker and press play. So all the features still work. It is just now in stereo mode. Now, it is worth noting that the stereo mode does not work when you have auxiliary cables connected to it and the stereo mode uh, is not gonna give you the low latency audio that you're gonna get in the low latency mode. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, the last mode you're gonna have on here is your auxiliary mode. Now, this is gonna give you the highest possible quality when it comes to your audio. So if you have master quality MQA uh, tracks on your phone or if you're on Android and have FLAC files, I would highly recommend using this. So this is a USB-C cable. You plug it into the back of the speaker and you can actually even plug this into the back of the speaker using the charging dock because the charging dock does not use the USB-C input on the back. You do have this 3.5 millimeter audio cable and you can connect this to your phone and then play your music directly from your phone into the speaker. I just wanna go over some of the cool RGB lighting on these speakers. So you have your forward and back track rocker right here. And if you actually press this mechanical dial in, it turns your lights on. Now there's three modes with the RGB lights. There's permanent, there's gradient, and breathing. Permanent, I don't know why they call it that, uh, basically just cycles through your colors and it does like a little light ring. So you'll have multiple colors visible at the same time. If you press it one more time, it goes to gradient and that's gonna change your colors one at a time. So you'll have one color here and it'll kind of change between green, blue, red, pink, like you see here. And then one more time is breathing mode. You press it a fourth time and it actually turns the lights completely off and that's gonna extend your battery life if you wanna use that. Now there are some other cool areas on the speaker that are lit up. There's RGB lighting right here underneath your dial, which kind of makes it easy to see at nighttime. You can kind of see it there. And then there's RGB lighting on the other side here. There's another light or your indicator light here for your sound modes. You do have an RGB light here on your USB power input, and that's gonna change from green to yellow to red, depending on how much you have charged the speaker. So what is my final thoughts when it comes to the Cybershell speaker? Now, not only do they look cool, futuristic, cyberpunk space inspired, they actually sound super good. There's tons of bass, there's tons of punch, and there's a lot of clarity on here. Messing with your sound modes is a good way to get that EQ, but something I would have loved to have seen was maybe app support so you can adjust the EQ yourself if you didn't want to use the normal rap or rock mode. However, in rock mode, that was more than enough punch that I could ask for when listening to rock music. I use rap mostly for ambient, dance, hip hop, any kind of music like that. It was very well suited for. And then stuff more like classical or if I'm watching a TV show, I would put it down to the normal EQ, which is pretty much just a flat EQ. It does have the IPX5 rating on it, which is awesome. I did water test this. I took it to the pool. I listened to it at the beach. I've had zero issues with this having any kind of corrosion or any issues from a little bit of light water splash or light dust on it. Um, it is drop rated to IPX5, means that you could probably drop this from about five feet and it's not gonna break. It is pretty heavy, so keep that in mind. There's a few areas on here that you can latch like a lanyard to or something if you bring this with you and want to carry it on your pack. But this is not like the Cyber Cube. It does weigh a little bit. So you're going to need a hefty bag. And I really wouldn't recommend doing that because uh, it's an expensive speaker. I wouldn't want to damage it. 
My favorite feature with the Bluetooth speaker is the TWS mode, which gives you full stereo separation. When I was testing this out and I put about 15 hours of listening time on these speakers, it was primarily in the TWS mode and I had the speakers separated about seven feet apart. It gives you a really good effect when it comes to stereo separation with music. And if you have the volume cranked on this and it's really driving those little drivers in here, it sounds really crisp and really good. Now, how does this compete to like reference grade monitors? Well, it's not really gonna compete with those because this is a portable Bluetooth speaker. And you have to keep in mind, the little drivers that are in here are pretty small. So if you're comparing this to something with like a five or six inch driver on it, it's not gonna have a whole lot of competition. So the price point for one of these speakers, it's about $282 and there's all kinds of coupon codes on Musen's website. Currently they have like a 25% off coupon. So you definitely can get it below the MSRP. So the conclusion with the speaker is, yeah, I think it's worth the money. And if you're gonna do the stereo setup here, it's definitely worth the money because it's really hard to get good Bluetooth stereo separation with speakers like this. And when you pair these two together, just the sound quality is unreal. If you guys wanna get some more information on the Cybershell speaker, the Cybercube, and the brand new Wild Go, I'm putting all of the links in the description below. I highly recommend each one of these speakers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. Are you interested in the Cybershell speakers? Have you tested these out? Is there any other kind of Bluetooth speaker I should take a look at? Until next time, I'm Michael. Thank you so much for watching Vinyl for Miles.